I am Felicity Kiwi and welcome to another building video. So today I am building for the first time with the For a Rent pack. It's been a little while since the pack came out it hasn't been that long it's still a very very new pack but i have not played with this pack at all this is the first thing that i've made with this pack i also did make it a little while ago because i've pre-recorded a few videos but this is the first time that i am back recording for like probably around a week i would say probably like five six days so it's it feels much longer it feels like it's been a month since i've recorded something for you guys it feels so strange to be back to recording but i am so happy to be here to be fair i did also mention that i'm not going to be recording any videos next week so next week like the christmas week i am not going to be recording anything so that week there is also there's not gonna be any videos I'm not even gonna pre-record for that so unfortunately there will be no videos but I do hope that you guys have a lovely lovely Christmas week and if you don't celebrate I really hope you have a lovely week nonetheless and yeah personally my plans for Christmas it's not gonna be much I'm just gonna spend some time with my boyfriend's family and my family as well we're just gonna go and eat somewhere and it's gonna be just a nice time if you guys have any plans for Christmas, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious what you guys are going to get up to, if you're going to do anything at all. But yeah, this build is in the new world. I honestly do not even know what the world is called. I have not been paying much attention to this, to this pack at all. It feels weird because usually I am on it. I know what's happening. I have roughly an idea of everything that the pack has to offer and so on and so forth. But but this time, I feel like I'm a little bit behind on this pack. It's probably because there was so much going on this past week and I just feel so behind. I feel like I really have not been doing what I usually do and it feels a little off, but I'm going to try my best this new year. Also, I do want to mention I'm probably going to start posting a lot more of a variety of content. I'm not only going to be posting Sims content anymore because I really want to branch out. When I started my channel, I was never intending on only posting Sims content, but with my computer it is difficult to find games that I can run and record at the same time but I really really want to post more content for you guys stuff that is not only gonna be sims like new games games that like cozy games fun games games that I really enjoy I'm really looking forward to it so I hope you guys like it as well because yeah I was a really really never planning on only posting sims content although I love the sims I'm not planning on ever stopping sims content i will always be posting sims but i really want to branch out of it post some new things to see kind of where the winds take me and yeah i think it's gonna be a lot of fun so i hope you guys are gonna stick around to see that as well because it's gonna be a journey a new year to kind of explore and expand the channel a bit i don't want to make any promises on any types of content but i really want to start a minecraft series so if you guys enjoy minecraft let me know because i love that game it is so fun and i would love to start a series on it but i'm not gonna do it if you guys are gonna hate it because that's gonna be depressing but <laughs> but i really want to start one i am obsessed with that game it's one of the games that i enjoy most with my friends but i don't think i'm gonna play with my friends for this i've never played a game with somebody else on my channel before don't worry, in the future I am planning on introducing you guys to my boyfriend. He's also very much down for that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do that. So in the future, you might hear a video with him in it. Maybe a few. I don't know where that's going to go just yet. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun to kind of introduce you guys to a few people in my life. That's going to be a lot of fun as well. So hopefully in the next year I will be doing that. I'm kind of 
just blabbing on about my new year resolutions kind of because my channel resolutions is definitely to grow my content kind of grow in my editing as well i want to try to do a better job at editing i don't think i do a really bad job at it there's nothing wrong with my editing but i want to expand it kind of try new things try to teach myself a lot of new techniques a lot of new things because i'm very much self-taught when it comes to editing i never really watched a lot of videos i never really went to anybody for advice i kind of just winged it i got the program looked up the basics and kind of just went from there figuring things out and doing it all on my own so i would maybe like to expand on that learn some more things about editing and trying to figure out some new ways to to make videos even more entertaining because yeah I mean you can always grow and expand yourself especially when it comes to content because there's so many different ways for you to just be better so I'm really gonna try in this next year to go the extra mile with my channel because my channel is like a baby to me. I really, really enjoy this and I love making content and seeing everybody's comments and support. It's so much fun to me to just see everybody enjoying the content that I make and loving seeing it as much as I love making it. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations of videos and games and anything you guys would like to see in this new year, Leave it in the comments down below because I would be more than happy to try out new things for you guys. Things that you guys love to see. I am even down to play things that I have never even tried to explore on my channel. So let me think of a few examples. You guys may not know this about me, but I play a lot of games with friends and stuff. So like Valorant, I even play League of Legends, which is a game I never thought I would actually like. But it turns out I do actually like League, so I can play anything you guys would like to see. If you guys want to see Valorant content, I can play that for you guys. I'm not good, like I'm actually kind of trash in the game, but you know, it's the fun that counts. And that also goes for League. I may not be the best, but I can make content for you guys on that as well. The, it doesn't have to be like first person shooters, but it can be, it can be literally any game you guys would like to see. Well, not anything. Realistically, my PC will not be able to run anything like, for example, God of War or something like that. I'm not going to be able to record that. As much as I would love to, I cannot record that with my PC. I don't even think my PC is going to run that game. So like Hogwarts Legacy, my PC will not run that at all it's not gonna even open i would say so if it's not gonna run it's not gonna record so really high intensity games those i will more than likely not be able to record for you guys but smaller things like first person shooters i will definitely more than likely be able to run i'm not gonna be good but i can try <laughs> and i don't know i just really want to branch out of it i want to make a lot of different things for you guys so anything you guys guys can think of that's realistic for my PC. I don't know how to post my specs for you guys, but it's a pretty old PC. It's not up to date really, and I don't have the money for a new PC. Hopefully in the future, I'm going to start saving up as soon as humanly possible because I would love to do even better content for you guys in the future with a better PC. So hopefully within a few years, I'll be able to do absolutely anything. But right now, I'm going to do some content and maybe some Minecraft, maybe even Roblox. I don't know. It really depends on whatever you guys would like to see the most. I might put up a poll or two within the next few months to kind of gather um, intel on what you guys would like to see and yeah I just think it's gonna be a lot of fun but anyway I've been rambling on way too much about future content and stuff like that so I'm gonna talk a bit about this build 
So basically, I don't remember in the moment what I was calling it. It was kind of something like a two units something mabob. But basically, it does have two units, and then the lower section is kind of like a bar type of area with this living lounge space right next to it. I think it's a really chill area downstairs, and then you have stairs going up two levels. The level above this one is a one bedroom for like a single single to like person or like a couple somebody probably young or really old and single you don't you never know somebody's story but you know what I mean like it's not a big family type of place and then the unit above that is a two bedroom with a double bed and then an infant room as well so I think that's a really cute as well and I just the thing I love the most about this pack is the storytelling aspect of trying to make these different homes and envisioning different families living in these units. It is so much fun to make these units and kind of give each one a different story. That has been so much fun. I'm thinking about making even townhouses in the future, which would be a lot of fun, but I've seen so many people make townhouses that I didn't want to immediately make a townhouse because it kind of felt like it was everywhere all over the place and I just didn't want to do the exact same thing that everybody was doing so instead I kind of did this I don't know what to call it I really have no idea so if you guys know what the word is for a place like this let me know in the comments because I, honestly I cannot remember what this is called but yeah so the downer is it a downer level what like the bottom level of the place i don't know what this is called anyway <laughs> the ground level yeah <laughs> it's just a, a local like hangout spot where i would say anybody would be able to go not only the people living in the unit that's why i try to make it like really accommodating there's a lot of seats there's a lot of spaces for people to hang out and then obviously the upper levels are much more private to the people who actually lives there but yeah I actually really enjoy this pack. I haven't played like gameplay with this pack yet. The build items are incredible and I don't really care about the cast items. I'm not even gonna lie. I use custom content so cast items to me is kind of irrelevant to a pack because I'm never gonna use them probably maybe I don't know male content I might because I do not have a lot of male CC in my game so yeah oh and I also wanted to mention that this video is not going to have a walkthrough at the end of it I know that's crazy for me I always always have a walkthrough at the end of each of my speed builds but this one is gonna be an exception today because quite frankly I'm lazy <laughs> I was as I mentioned at a theme park yesterday and my body is sore I think I burnt my neck a little bit because I was in the Sun the whole day and I just forgot about my neck so I did not put sunscreen on my neck and yeah so I'm kind of really tired today but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because it feels like it's just been way too long since I've spoken to you guys and I just love making these videos but I do have my limits so therefore today is not gonna have a walk at the end it's just gonna be the speed build part but I did not cut out as much at all so this speed build part is much much longer than my usual speed build parts because I usually have the speed build and then after that a walk through part so that you guys can see everything that I cut out or that you might have missed but today we're not doing that we're just doing the speed build and also these toilets are really interesting I've never seen anything like that in real life before it feels like it doesn't exist but it's in the sims so I'm assuming it's in real life as well and that's real interesting I'm I'm honestly really intrigued. I want to see one in real life. It seems like it would be a real weird thing to try and use, but at the same time, it seems like it would work really well as well. So I don't know if you guys have a toilet like that, let me know because I am so curious about how it feels to use a toilet like that. It's That sounds weird, but you guys get what I'm saying. So yeah, but yeah, that's basically 
everything for this uh, lower unit so like the second level unit it's a really nice unit so both of these units in my opinion at least are really nice they're not outdated or anything they look nice they feel nice they have enough space so it's not like a space issue they're not huge like they're not ginormous units or anything but they are nice and spacious like you can live here comfortably if you're not like a huge family like one to three people okay well when i say three people i'm obviously meaning like the infant for example or like a toddler or a child or something maybe even a teen with this second unit but the first unit not so much there is only one room in that unit so that one is not as accommodating space wise but yeah so this one is the one with the two rooms it's the highest level of the house place i really don't know what i want to call this it's probably in the title maybe not honestly because i don't know what i'm going to title this video at all you guys know so you guys are seeing whatever my mind came up with after i recorded this but yeah also something i really really want to mention is the plants in this pack phenomenal like look at that plant in the corner and also the birds of paradise it's so so beautiful the birds of paradise is probably my favorite because it hits close to home we have those everywhere where i live i see them all the time and they are so so beautiful so i'm so happy to see something i recognize so closely in the sims it feels kind of strange to see it but, but i love it i love it so much it's so beautiful probably one of my favorite i almost said packs uh, plants at this point i don't know if this is my favorite pack because I haven't really explored the gameplay much at all but I do think so far I have been having fun build wise with this so the building content is definitely worth it to me and then here we have the infants room it is a really really small room that's why I'm kind of like debating whether or not a child or a teen would even be able to fit in here you would but it's gonna be a tight squeeze it's really really small but honestly <laughs> They don't even need that much space it's sims they're only gonna sleep in this room anyway so it's not really gonna matter to them probably maybe <laughs> but yeah that's basically everything for today's build i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys like this build as much as i do because i love it so so much but thank you all so so much for watching and if you guys did enjoy this video please consider liking and subscribing to my channel it really helps me out to grow and expand and, and every like is probably gonna be a new person that's gonna stumble across my channel so do leave a like if you guys would like to and yeah i will definitely see you guys in another video goodbye everybody